everything's a metaphor. At the end of the day, we don't care about objects. We care about people. And all objects and images are metaphor for self and for other people. I'm Jeff Koons. I'm an artist. I live in New York City. We interact with the uh, external world through sense perception. And through that, you feel emotions, and emotions uh, become ideas. So I started Play-Doh in 1994. In my own mind, I thought that Play-Doh should be a polyethylene sculpture. But to make a polyethylene piece, you cannot get the undercuts. And as I was developing the model and removing all the undercuts, I realized I was sacrificing too much for the piece. I wanted to hold on to a super realism. So eventually I changed and I decided I'm going to make it in aluminum. I would look at different areas. Okay, you know, this part is looking really great. You know, this could maybe be uh, just a, a little too sharp. And then I come back uh, the next month. Oh, okay, maybe just a little too organic, went a little too far. And so it was just a process of this year in, year out to be able to get the piece where it was really believable as a mound of Play-Doh. There are 27 separate organic forms that are all stacked on top of each other. So if this comes up on a dome shape there, that's perfectly touching on the top. So it's not for perfectionism. It's to be able to communicate and to be able to let somebody stay within the abstraction as long as possible. But that care and attention, it's not to an object, it's to the viewer. And it's showing how much you care about the viewer. It took a while to be able to get the surface and to continue to work and articulate the plaster to get these different tensions. If we look at the white, the white, you can feel that it was smashed down there. But you can feel like a thumb would have just pulled right across there. I put in very, very micro glass beads into the Play-Doh so that the light would reflect it. The sheen, whenever you paint anything, uh, is always important in realism. You know, Play-Doh is multi-dimensional. It's not just kind of a one-dimensional look at things. It has a lot of different points of view. It's dealing with that kind of in a psychological way, but also in a way of form and of, of surface, uh, texture, color, and a meaning. So you have this whole organic process, and it captures a feeling of creation. It has uh, this aspect of a creative process documenting the forces in action and there's something very, very human in the mound. So within uh, my works, it's an image that I'm very proud of.